You are listening to This is Oklahoma, hosted by Mike Hearn, telling stories of Oklahomans and those that have made it their home. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of This is Oklahoma podcast. Mike Hearn here, your host, back with another episode. Excited to share this episode with you today. But before we do, I've got to thank our sponsors. First of all, the Oklahoma Hall of Fame. They've been a huge part of this podcast for the last few years. So the Oklahoma Hall of Fame have been sharing Oklahoma's story through its people since 1927. For more information on the Oklahoma Hall of Fame, go to www.oklahomahof.com. And for daily updates, go to Oklahoma HOF on Instagram and give them a follow. Our other sponsor today is Chicksaw Nation. Now, the Chicksaw Nation have sponsored pretty much everything in Oklahoma. They're a huge supporter of Oklahoma. And it's an honor to have their name and their brand supporting this podcast. So a huge shout out to Governor Anna Toby for supporting this podcast. It really means a lot. And finally, our third sponsor is 988. The Oklahoma 988 Mental Health Lifeline. 988 is a direct three-digit lifeline that connects you with trained behavioral health professionals that can get all Oklahomans the help that they need. Learn more by visiting 988oklahoma.com. That's 988oklahoma.com. And now, let's get into today's episode. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of This is Oklahoma Podcast. Mike Hoon here, your host, back with another episode down in Class and Curve today. Uh, I do a lot of shopping down here. However, I've not been in the store that we're going to talk about, uh, predominantly because it's female clothing. And if I shopped for my wife, she might divorce me. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) We'll just leave it at that. Uh, But my guest today, uh, we're going to talk a lot about their store, Scout and Molly's. Um, Thank you so much for for inviting me into the store. I'm excited to talk about it. Uh, Please tell... The wonderful listeners, who you are, and I guess we'll start with how you guys met. Oh well, thank you for coming. Welcome yes. to Scout Molly. So yeah. glad you're here. How did we meet? Mm. You want to take that? Well, we went to high school together. Okay. Everybody thinks we were high school sweethearts, but we were not. We were actually friends. We were buddies. Yeah, we called each other and talked to each other about our prospective boyfriends, girlfriends, and complain them to each other. <laughs> he was the only one I would talk on the phone to. Everybody else, I'm like, what do you want? Get off the phone. Yeah. But um, we came back together about a year after we graduated from high school at a football game. Um, and from then, we started dating. And we dated for four years. And now married for 29 this she week. She chased me relentlessly. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Yeah. <laughs> no, but we, uh, yeah, we'll be 29 years this Saturday. 29. So, All yeah. Right. So together, 33. And Congratulations. For 29 years. I don't know. Yeah. Be here at the store. It's the last, the last <laughs> we'll thing you think about when you run a business <laughs> yeah, is exactly, each other. Yeah. Right? yeah, for sure. <laughs> what, uh, what high school did you guys go to? We went to Bethany High Bethany School. High so school. we are no Oklahoma born and bred. Yeah. Okay. I went yeah. to Southern Nazarene. Oh, oh really? Oh, funny. Yeah. I went to Southern Nazarene, went too. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I was there to play golf. So. Oh, how funny. Yeah, I went to nursing school there. Small so. world. I'm sure we have a lot of the same friends then. Yeah. Very, like, uh, very yeah, small you world. Maybe a little bit younger than we are. I don't know. The good thing about golf is that all the all the guys I play golf with are old, so I might know some of those people. <laughs> as well. I love it. Uh, wow, yeah, that's awesome. So super local then. Basically, yeah. you've grown up, and, and yes. obviously this place was non-existent when you guys grew yeah, up. for and, sure. And this yeah. development. But. I do remember, like, Nichols Hills Plaza was, like, the place to shop when mm-hmm. we were yeah. younger. So it's like, wow. Yeah. Um, so I assume owning a store was the last thing you guys thought of in college yeah, and high school. For sure. Yeah, it really was. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. She went yeah. to nursing school. I went to business school. Um, she was a nurse for I was a nurse years. labor and delivery at Baptist for 20 years um, and so that was just I mean I absolutely loved my job serving women was my jam loved it loved making them feel good you know it's a life changing event for them so yeah. it was very cool Colin you said business school business school yeah I'm a, uh, today I'm an operations leader I guess you would say at a local company mm-hmm. here about 10 minutes from the store yeah. yeah yeah so both of you then stayed super local and didn't want to mm-hmm. branch out and, and travel all over all absolutely away yeah, home is our, our home yeah um, for sure we both yeah. uh were born in the hospital around the corner um mm-hmm. our kids here very uh, we have three kids and they're all ingrained in oklahoma we have yeah. one in college At one in U? high school mm-hmm. and one in middle school right now so. how's that it's how's busy. that experience yeah. <laughs> very busy yeah. very uh very odd all of a sudden you know, they're, they're in diapers one minute and you're trying to keep them from killing themselves and, you know, doing whatever <laughs> to now they're kind of self-sufficient. Yeah. yeah. It's bizarre. We had them really close together. So there's yeah. a lot of years for like, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember kind that? Yeah. yeah. Kind of a blur, but, but 
now it's super fun. You know, oh, yeah. they're becoming adults themselves, and it's just a whole new, whole new world for us. Honestly, did so. we do good? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do we, risk, do we raise respectable That's human right. beings? That's right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Which, Talk about that often. <laughs> yeah. Which I think, you know, I, I don't have kids, but raising kids right now scares the life out of me yeah. compared to it's, what my parents had to do. Right. You know, exactly. And, and yeah. That, it's so. very scary. It's kind of yeah. hard to think about our grandkids, you know, what kind of world they'll grow up in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Frightening. So, so plenty of years then doing full-time work and, and being stressful, being labored and delivery. I mean, when do you guys start having the conversation that, hey, this might not be what I want to do for the rest yeah. of my life, and you know what? Maybe we should have a clothing store. <laughs> you want to take that? Yeah, one? it's kind of funny because sometimes a road just leads, yeah. you know, and you don't always, you know, you have kind of a, a late, best laden plan, and, and it doesn't always work out that way. So kind of, you know, we've, we've 20-ish, I think we probably really started looking more aggressively into something of our own, probably, I don't know, 15, 16 years mm-hmm. into actually our professions, and you know, kind of the idea was, okay, we're getting older, at least, well, never mind. Um, one of us is. One of us is. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, would there be an opportunity for us to have our own? I've always had an itch, I'll have to admit. I've always, you know, felt that like I would run a business or, or something. Uh, so we just kind of gradually started looking. Um, our, our road, you know, we checked out many different things, and it was really kind of a neat connect. And, um, you know, Tracy's background of serving people, she absolutely has a gift. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it is her thing, and she loved that part about labor and delivery. Um, I think the part, you know, that she liked the least was all the paperwork and all the legality of that of that work. Twelve-hour shifts, yeah. long, long shifts. Yeah. Um, but what a great um, connect she has with people, and everybody loves Tracy. Um, so when we were really looking into this opportunity, I was like, "Well, it's a no-brainer." I mean, Tracy, is, having her here would be wonderful. Um, and then the business piece and the, you know, the behind the scenes cleaning and, you know, what, whatever I can do to help. Um, He's the catch all man. Just kind of worked out. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Paperwork um, guy. <laughs> so anyways, kind of convinced her, I yeah. think. So, I mean, I just love making women feel good about themselves, no matter what their size, what, you know, how they feel, you know, about themselves when they walk in. I want them to leave excited. And say, I look good. I feel good about myself. You know, this, I love what I've, what I've bought. Um, I'm going to love wearing it. Um, I hear a lot of women, you know, talk about how they regret, have regret buys. And I don't want that. I want them to leave. You know, I'd rather them not buy and be a customer for life. Mm-hmm. Not buy one time and come back and see me. than buy something, never come back. Mm-hmm. Because they regret what they bought. So I just love it when they, when they leave excited. It's, it's kind of a rush for me. Yeah. I can tell. Yeah. When you're. When I'm here, I'm here a lot in the back doing something, either my other job or my this job. Mm-hmm. Um, and I can tell when she's connecting with somebody. And when somebody walks in the door, she's like, oh, hi, so-and-so. And yeah. you know, we, we want to be like, you know. you know, you can go shop anywhere, obviously. Yeah. Um, we don't want to have that cold, callous, big box feeling. Yeah. Uh, we want you to feel like you're home. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of, you know, what you hear always. But we really want to try to make that. You know, our, our thing is like you're shopping in your best, best friend's, friend's closet. closet. That's kind of you our know, motto here. Relaxed. Just kick you know, back. Just and super fun. Have fun. And if you yeah. buy something cool, if, but really the, it's, that you connect? find something that you like mm-hmm. and you really, you know, and then bring your girlfriends back. And yeah, um, we've had a couple of closed door events where some of our clients will, they really want to celebrate their birthdays here with some girlfriends. And so bring in some snacks and some drinks and just have fun. And yeah. that's really kind of cool. Yeah. Kind of stuff that they may not think they would ever uh-huh. do, but they're like, hey. But well, you're with your girlfriend, really cool. so you can just yeah. have fun. Right. Super fun. Yeah. Seems like you're trying to simulate a community that you kind of grew up in. Like, I know what the Bethany community is like mm-hmm. and the new community. Yeah. And that's kind of a law of the same feeling, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I never really thought of it that way. Yeah. But. You know, just your comment earlier, we probably know a lot of the same people. Well, if you're in Bethany, clearly yeah. that there's probably some roads that have crossed, crossed in some way, sure. especially at SMU. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, so when you're having this idea, obviously you go to business school, you have a passion for business. One day you think I'm going to open my own business. And then you, you know, you're kind of constantly pitching the idea to Tracy. What are the ideas that you, that would, that just like, no, not this, not this. What are the ideas that, you know, mm-hmm. you, you, you didn't go for in the stores that you could have had mm-hmm. other than yeah, this yeah. one? We looked into a like water restoration mm-hmm. uh, business, um, kind of in the, well, you have a loss in your home and good grief. Um, that just didn't feel right. We looked at a couple of um, like temp agencies. Temp, yeah, like temp like, agencies that like, help. I, don't want to do I'm very familiar with that line of work. Yeah. And I, I just didn't see doing that because the idea was kind of something that would be fun and 
we just kind of enjoy. So I didn't want it to be stiff and co corporate and, you know, the things that I don't really like about my day to day. Um, we looked at like a health um, nutrition. nutrition type concept mm -hmm. with shakes and supplements. You know, I, we both kind of like to work out when we when we have a life or when we did have a life. Um, so those are some of the things that didn't really make the cut. Um, was there any others that we could? Uh, I think that was about it. Yeah. yeah. And we honestly didn't have this in mind when we first started yeah, we our really journey. Didn't. And kind of the more we thought of it, the more, you know, we saw the numbers and Carl's like, I mean, it's no brainer. It'd be fun for you. I mean, selling clothes. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's stressful, but it's a different kind of stress than my former yeah. line of work. So, yeah. Yeah. And the clothes that you buy are technically a write-off now, That's too. Right. It's Absolutely. part of the business. You're a walking billboard for the model. business. Yeah. This is great. I do. Like, if I don't like what I got in my own closet, I was like, I've got I'm a big not, closet at I'm work. I'm not going to lie. That was kind of part of my thinking, <laughs> yeah. especially with two girls. Right. Yeah, we have two teenage girls, so yeah. Yeah, that's so awesome. Fun. So, so this business then, was it an existing business that you bought? It was. No, it wasn't. Oh, um, so you started your own and it, it's actually okay. a franchise. Okay. Um, we looked into the, a few different franchise concepts and what was inter interesting to us there is that, you know, it's very local. I mean, this is our business. We're Oklahoma. Um, but we get the, the leverage of the experience through the franchise that mm. was really attractive to us. So right. some, I don't even know that we would have made it into this really cool mm -hmm. shopping center without that connection. Yeah. Um, you know, just starting out on our own, we wouldn't have a track record to really trust yeah. Um, also some connections with, with different brands that we probably wouldn't be able to connect with. So um, that, yeah. That Classic made a lot Parks of sense. It, yeah. I mean, it's been a great, a great shopping center to oh, be what a great to, location. for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and like you said, getting in here, like there's only premium brands in here. Right. Right. Yeah. You know, and the brands that they continue to bring in, you know, mm -hmm. the, the boot place around the corner and, yeah. and Lululemon and all that yeah. stuff. And Ms. Nomani, I love Ms. Nomani. Uh, yeah. the street. Yeah. Uh, just, the, just the greatest <laughs> spot for men. Right? Uh, you know, there's a lot of, and obviously Tucker's down the street. I could. Oh, man. Just Tucker's the greatest. So Tucker's. Good. It's, <laughs> it's really funny that it's next to Red Cat. <laughs> oh, yeah. For right? sure. Like, <laughs> Might be strategic, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Know. you know, you think health and nutrition somewhere. I wish there were plenty of places in this, you know, that are like that. But yeah, sure. anyway, this this place is really cool. So I can definitely see the appeal for it, but also the aesthetic of this, yeah. this development mm -hmm. too, right? You know, it's not like your typical strip mall or right. like it's a very, very nice architecturally looking place. Yes, I agree. It's it's probably the coolest, you know, of all the scout mallies that are around the United States. We've seen a lot of them. It's mm -hmm. it's really the coolest. Yeah. Of course. Center. <laughs> Yeah. So, so doing that research then and, and coming up with the Scout and Mollies and you mentioned the ones around the country, did you go and, and how is that process of, of getting into the franchise and then being accepted too, right? Yeah. Cause they're not just going to accept anybody. Right. That's absolutely right. Yeah. It's quite a little process. Um, meetings, interviews, mm -hmm. if you will. Um, gosh, sitting down and looking through the terms, it seems like forever ago, I guess it was 2016 yeah, when we were, when we were really looking mm -hmm. 15, 16, um, and we got Isn't to talk it? to some other owners Isn't in different it? states, um, just visiting with the corporate office and the folks yeah. there. Going to, I mean, the corporate offices in Philadelphia, so we've made several mm -hmm. trips there. Mm -hmm. and um, Just worked out. I mean, we met the founding uh, lady who, who kind of founded the concept under, it's it's based around two... Um, two rescue labs, rescue her name, labs. her first store after mm -hmm. her rescue so, labs, so that's really cool. We love dogs. We're dog people. Yeah. Um, anytime somebody's walking by and they have a dog and they're like... Wonder anything, come in. I'm up in the door. I'm like, come in. Come you on, know, man. You're I have treats for your dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we love dogs. So, so we just kind of did it, and you know, the, the timing. I think so. When we opened, it was October of 17, 18, 18. Mm -hmm. Always say 17. <laughs> and so then, you know, we're a year and a half open, and then boom, COVID. Yeah. Um, and you know, that was that was a tough time for mm -hmm. business, especially a young especially business, small business. Uh, but I was also the opposite end of that. Super thankful she wasn't at the hospital. You know, like. Yeah, I, I don't know that I would have been really comfortable with her being there. So I, I see it as a blessing, even though it was a very tough time for us, mm -hmm. right. um, that she just wasn't there. We, you know, we had to close the doors here for a few months, um, but we survived. And she survived. People uh -huh. showed up. I mean, honestly, yeah. you know, because the big thing was when we opened back up, everybody was talking about small business, how to support small business. People showed up. And they supported us any way they can. I mean, you know, we did whatever, you know, they wanted to do. I'm like, you want a shop, private shopping appointment? You got it. You know, you want to bring, bring a couple of friends? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we did door deliveries. Mm -hmm. We did um, really anything anybody would want us to do to, you know, just to stay afloat. Mm -hmm. And 
and people really did support, you know, and we would support other small businesses, mm -hmm. talk about other small businesses that people can support. So it was really all about supporting each other. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's super nice to have as a new business, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't it? As, as a quite established business, you you know, you, you probably expect it because you've built those relationships, but a year and a half in, it just kind of shows obviously two things, that the community is here, but in that year and a half, you guys had really built a relationship with people yeah. already. Yeah, you know, So it's really special. We did, yeah. We, we contacted, I mean, you know, people would contact us. We did a lot of stuff on just through our social media to try to, you know, drum up some business and people mm -hmm. would say, Hey, you know, I really like that shirt. When, how can I get it? I'm like, however you want yeah. it. So What's I'll your address? Your yeah, yeah, exactly. We will come to you. <laughs> yeah. So, so how did you feel then leaving such a business where you have, you know, a, such a job where you have such an impact and a connection with women and mothers mm -hmm. to coming in here? How do you translate that to open up this business and then connect with your um, you customers. know, I, a lot of it, um, cause my, our customer base is a lot of people that are our age mm -hmm. and that are, are in our same lifespan too also, but I can also connect with younger women who are fresh having babies, you know, because I remember it so well, you know, and when they find out I've been a nurse before, sometimes they're like, Hey, by the way, <laughs> what, what do you think about this? I have a question for you. <laughs> like, absolutely. You know, I answer when I can, but, um, it's just more that kind of like I spoke about earlier, it's just more that that connection that making people feel good about themselves. I mean, because the world that we live in is not about that. You know, it's all about you have to look a certain way to be to feel to be accepted or whatever. And I just think that is just wrong. Yeah. You know, I think if a woman is, you know, feels good about themselves, they can change the world. Yeah. Honestly. Mm -hmm. So or, you know, even if it's their small world, their family they can make a world of difference if they yeah. feel good about themselves. So that's all it's what it's about, yeah. honestly. And then more to the business side, what specifically attracted you to having a clothing store over the businesses that you mentioned as well? Um, I just kind of, it's funny because a lot of it is just gut feel. Yeah. Um, you know, it's so important to me. To, I've been in very stiff corporate environments and I, you know, just don't want this to be that. And I don't want to be involved in that. And I don't want my client base to be that. And so some of those things would have required that world. And so it's like, you know, I, I, I oversimplify it, but it's clothes. You know, it's not cancer. It's not mm -hmm. we lost our home. It's it's clothes. And so why can't this be a fun environment? Mm -hmm. um, and it, I kind of just wanted something that was less stressful. I've had a lot of stress in my career, as, as most businessmen probably and women. Um, and that kind of was it. And, you know, so of course, the numbers, you know, if we can do this and this, then maybe we could stay afloat. <laughs> Um, so the numbers were, looked positive as well, but so did some of the other options. So it really kind of boiled down to that, you know, the, yeah. the fun atmosphere. And then again, thinking about Tracy and the, the asset that she would be was connecting with women. Um, that's really what pulled it over mm -hmm. the hill for me. Yeah. Uh, and it was important. It sounds like it was super important to have a physical space where you could have those connections and right. have that space. Yeah. Because I, I've got friends who have a very successful online oh clothing right. company yeah. and they do extremely well. Uh, and all of their stuff is online and they yeah. have a massive warehouse and they just, you know, yeah. turnover's great. But it's that personal connection. Right. You know, and, and especially, you know, our customer base is not super young for the most part. Mm -hmm. They want to touch and feel. They want to try it on because their bodies are different, you know, and they can't fit a size four all the time. They may be a size six in this brand, but we don't, we're not sure. So come in, let's touch and feel. Let's, let's see what looks good on you. So that's, that's our thing is we want to have that connection with people to come in that want to come in that don't want to order online because they have to return it because it doesn't fit. So it's funny because we had, we had a gallon just yesterday. I was listening to you talk to her. And it was that scenario, you know, she's has a, a body type that she was, you know, she ordered two or three different mm -hmm. shirts. And I think I heard a couple of the, you know, normal uh, avenues for that. And it just didn't fit. It didn't fit. And she was frustrated by that. Mm -hmm. um, and she found a couple of things here that just really looked well on her. And it was really yeah. kind of cool. I could tell Tracy yeah. was really enjoying it. You know, yeah. we also have an online shop, mm -hmm. um, but we don't find that we, we sell much there. What we see yeah. is folks will look at our inventory and then they'll come in and try it yeah. and touch yeah. it. Um, and so that's definitely how we try to disrupt this, you know, online world that we're in yeah. is we, we want you to come in and feel comfortable. We're not going to hard sell you. Mm -hmm. um, we want you to have fun. Just want to help, and yeah. Find something that looks great on you and you can yeah. try it and take it with you right now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even like I hate shopping. 
but also like I, I had to go to a wedding a few months back and I, we all had to wear tuxedos and like I should just buy one but I didn't <laughs> but I like I went and bought three shirts I was like I'm gonna buy three shirts they all one of them will fit and like one of them the arms are too short one of them's the next of none, it was n- none of them were perfect and I was just like running around last minute I was like finally got one but I had to go to get that personal experience to get you know thing, and then I took it to it adjust and it was perfect you're right though just that personal experience is yeah. so less stressful mm-hmm. it's just finding a place where you can go and do right. that right and thankfully right. there are places like yours and others mm-hmm. where people can come in and have that personal experience yeah, regardless sure. of their age shape whatever yeah, it is you know absolutely that's what we're here that's yeah. what we're here for we're here to help women yeah you mentioned the social media side of things mm-hmm. and and during covid i'm sure that was a big push as well yeah tell us a little bit about kind of like your social media and how that helps you bring people in We've learned. Um, yeah. So we, we have an, an Instagram site or yeah Facebook, presence and a Facebook, Instagram. and we just started a TikTok, TikTok <laughs> which some of our, our gals who work here with us have helped us with that. Yeah. Um, we just kind of learned. So we do we try to do some videos now. We try to do yeah. a couple of lives, Reels. especially during that time where yeah. you know here's some of the inventory we have, and and maybe we'd have two or three gals here who would be you know trying them on so people can kind of see how they fit. And it's Um, all about being personable. And, you know, for us, the lives, the reels are just about being real, not like stuffy. And I don't I mean, I don't know. I mean, they people don't mind you like messing up and laughing at yourself. And, you know, it just kind of makes it more personable, makes it more real. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we giggle at each other and as we're trying on stuff and, um, you know, we may fumble over our words, but people don't care. I mean, you know, it's all about. Just having fun. Mm-hmm. So that was going to be my next question: is kind of what have you learned from that side oh, of yeah. things? And it's also that you don't have to be perfect, and you right. just have to put out yeah. the content, content and the yeah. video for sure. And like I said, people get to see you, and if they, they watch it because they already know who you are anyway. Right. So when they see that personality, it comes across right. It's rather, you know, they're not gonna if they see a video and it's very rehearsed and it's to Sterile. the point. And yeah, yeah, and they're like, I don't know that person. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's not the person I shop with. You uh-huh. know, so it's interesting. So yeah, to get it's into funny that. because that Carl he'll you know when he knows I'm doing a video especially when I'm here about myself he'll he'll check after he's like are you still taping the video I've done it like 10 times and I just learned it's like just do it just it do doesn't it. matter yeah. people you know don't care they just want to see the stuff they don't mind it being not perfect mm-hmm. yeah you know? Yeah. So we just try to have more fun. Now you're, with it. Now you're like one take. And yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's yeah. Amazing. Hey, I'm better at it's it. It's amazing how less stressful <laughs> yeah. it is, right? Yes. When you're like, I've just, just got to do go. this. It's easy, you know. Right. And we have we have some ladies that help us. Um, you know, our family's been integral in helping us um, with supporting this business and helping us build the brand. Mm-hmm. Um, We've got a couple of younger girls, so they're a little bit better in the social media than we are. So I'm always like, okay, ladies, what are we doing today? <laughs> what ideas do you have? So they're always yeah. coming with great ideas. So That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about, you know, like the products we have here. With being a franchise, are you able to get local products in as well? Mm-hmm. Like how does that work for people who are unaware of the business? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, as, as the owner, we have all, I have all control okay. over what comes yeah, in. Too. Um, so we do try to use some local products when we can. We have local candle company. We have a local gal that makes earrings for us. Um, you know, and any time that I can find a local person business that has got a cool product, mm. I'm more than willing to try it because you know we're all we're small business too. So we're all about supporting each other. Yeah. So, but what helps with us being a franchise is we have connections with bigger brands too. Um, that we may not have been able to. So, you know, like Spanx, like we carry Spanx, um, and everybody loves their Spanx. So, um, and just some other brands that are, you mm-hmm. know, phenomenal brands that we love to have in store. Yeah. I th- okay. Is there a guy version of Spanx out now? <laughs> I don't there know is, there right? Is. I've been seeing something. <laughs> New business I, don't I don't know if it's I don't know if it's Spanx made, but I've been seeing I'm something. Sure I'm, I'm being targeted for sure on Instagram because I'm getting to that age. I would I'm not like, surprise me. You know, over thirty at now all. And, yeah. You know, yes, it's like, it would not surprise me yeah. whatsoever. I've definitely seen the T-shirt, the men's That's, T-shirt yes. uh-huh. for the dad bod. Yes. <laughs> a total cheat code. Yeah. I'm like, ha! Now we get to get you back. That's all right. those years we've been cheated out of, you That's know, all that funny right. things. But I mean, yeah, you're right. What a market. Um, yeah. Back to the local thing. I the first thing I noticed when I walked in here and I said was that it smells yeah. great in here. Oh yeah. It's like mm-hmm. I, this is fantastic. It yeah. So good. It's 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 a real deal. I mean yeah. it's smell marketing, you know, it's scent marketing mm-hmm. and they people remember it. 
they'll come in, they'll say it smells great in here, and they'll remember, and they'll come back to buy that scent. You yeah. know, and that's a local, it's a yeah, local company right for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we love their stuff. It's simple though, like the like that what you just said, smell marketing. I wouldn't have thought of that. And this is the second time I've heard this in the space of probably a month. A friend of mine went to a hotel, stood at the hotel and ended up like his wife was like, we need to buy candles of the mm-hmm. scent that they, yeah. and mm-hmm. I did a little bit of research and the, the hotel company, obviously, you know, there's a lot that goes into scents and smells right. and you know, yeah. the smell can not force you, but kind of help you in making decisions, right? Yeah. It's, there's a mm-hmm. giant science into all yes, of it. There is. I was fascinated with all that uh-huh. stuff. I mean, Music generally would be the first thing that people yeah. think of, mm-hmm. but smell, it's about you, kind of, you overlook it, don't yeah. you? But mm-hmm. you're right, it's totally about it's the experience. It's all about the experience, yeah, because yeah. they, they do definitely remember it. So, mm-hmm. Kind of like when you're, you're at home or if, you know you have friends over or family over, you want to maybe have bread or cookies or, or something that would just yeah. make, it, make it feel cozy. Yeah. Um, it's kind of the idea. I yeah, guess. for sure. Well, to that point then, with like the, the quote nerdy business side of things, right, because most people generally don't really talk about it i love that stuff like diving into what makes this store special not just the personal mm-hmm. you know, right. the current yeah. things that people would obviously notice but the stuff that people don't notice mm-hmm. they, is there anything else other than the smell that like you guys are really focused on to to build that community and draw people in mm. <laughs> that you're willing to share yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not patent protected yeah. yeah maybe just the the decor maybe a lot, or a lot yeah. of the stores, they look the same or not? No. Um, well, I, I would say there's a, there's a box that okay. you buy, um, some of the furniture, but anything else, any of the decor is completely on the owner yeah. Yeah. to just make as, as they wish. They want the Scout and Molly's name to be recognizable. Mm-hmm. When sure. somebody walks into the store, they're like, hey, I've been in this store before, mm-hmm. you know, but, um, you know, we make it, try to make it personal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. And, and obviously we have, you know, um, Small Business Saturday is coming up very soon and with me being from the UK originally, like Thanksgiving is not a thing. And when someone the night of Thanksgiving was like, we're going shopping. I'm like, yeah. doing one Black <laughs> Friday and all this stuff. Uh, Black Friday back home is the last Friday before Christmas when all, oh, the, all the businesses shut at noon and everyone goes to the pub and has oh, a very good hilarious. time. That's what Black Friday is back <laughs> wow. home. Um, slowly being kind of transformed into the shopping Black right, Friday. Yeah. But Regardless to the small business side of things, are you guys doing anything special? And then do you guys do anything special for other events around the around holidays as well or stuff that goes on all year? Yeah. We do. Um, you know, we have found, though, that, you know, people, you know, people, some people is like, are you going to open early? We're like, not really, because we found that people go to the other, like big box stores early in the morning. They come shopping with us in the afternoon. So, you know, it's just a, I mean, it's, it usually is pretty chaotic, but it's a kind of controlled chaos, you know, and we, we do offer some discounts, some sales, um, you know, gift with purchase sometimes, um, you know, just something just a little bit different, a little bit special for that, you know, but it's not for us. It's not like a big retailer, you know, honestly. So, cause we're just, we're just different. We're different than big retailer. Mm-hmm. We're not. We have just agreed on what our promotion will be. Um, mm-hmm. We haven't publicized it yet, but um, we like to extend it out too. So it's just, you don't have to just cram it into Friday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so our event usually starts the Sunday or Monday before and it'll go all the way through Black we, Friday, Small Business right, Saturday. Because we okay. find a lot of our clients, you know, our clients are going to be traveling. traveling. They're not going to yeah, be here. Yeah, yeah. So they come shopping with us earlier in the week mm-hmm. um, as opposed to Black Friday. So, so we, we want them to have Yeah, we want them to have the opportunity. So also. the entire week of the yeah. holidays. Great, because yeah. this will go out on Monday. Kind of so beat the, the entire rush. week. Yeah. So when you're listening, yeah. come on by. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Before you head out. Yeah, for sure. Uh, is there... It, with, with regards to, like, obviously, you know, Black Friday is a big holiday, and but do you guys do anything themed throughout the year, not just this holiday but others and for Valentine's and all the other stuff like that? We usually come up with something, and a lot of times um, Class and Curve will do something for the okay. holidays, too. Um, like, they'll do um, a holiday event um, and include all the stores, so mm-hmm. that's really nice. So sometimes they'll do a Valentine's event. Um, you know, every holiday they try to do something, which yeah, is yeah. nice, and we just try to tap into that. Mm-hmm. Um, or if they don't, we do something on our own, mm-hmm. but um, we always try to do something for each holiday, you know, to make it special. Yeah. yeah, sometimes it'll be a food, you know, maybe we'll have some kind of snacks or coffee or <clears throat> some other kind of sip, um, you know, just just to be different. You know, yeah. you come into your best friend's house and what would you do there? Well, you probably mm-hmm. snack on something, you mm-hmm. probably drink something. Um, so, so a lot of times we try to incorporate that. It was a little bit 
fuzzy, I would say, through the COVID time because, you know, sharing food and that, that was kind yeah, of... Yeah, it's just different. Uh, we're back, I think, more to where that's more acceptable. Yeah. Um, so that's probably another thing is, you know, we like to try to do discounts or giveaways or, you know, have a little something special when we can. But also sometimes they're just a snack. You can have a cookie or mm-hmm. um, something that you wouldn't expect when you're walking around a store. Yeah, local yeah. bakery, yes. you know, something. Has, obviously, you've been in here since, was it, you said 18, right? Mm-hmm. Been here since yeah. 18. So having a business going on four years now, um, <clears throat> What are the other, what are the things that you've learned and just from having a business and having a clothing store that you just kind of take into your normal day lives? Is there anything that really stands out for you after owning a business that you you know you would never have noticed before? Mm-hmm. But you know, I'm sure you go into other stores and mm-hmm. you, your eyes oh, are like, okay, well, you know, you're yeah. not just like, I mean, no, I, no, I, every I, guy's sat me, in the corner now, right? Yeah, yeah here absolutely. For me, it's customer service. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, I never before. Well, I mean, like if somebody really stood out, I'm like, oh, that was really nice. But now I'm like, mm mm, wouldn't do that. Yeah, like they didn't even say hi to me, you know, when I walked in. They're on their phone. Yeah. I mean, you notice so much more when you're in a customer service based business like this when you are shopping at, at other places. It's amazing what the things that I notice I never <laughs> noticed before. So, yeah, probably the same for me. Like, you, know, you just really notice. Uh, yeah. And if we find a, a, an individual who's just fantastic, well, then I'm probably going to get that person's name and <laughs> talk to them yeah. and maybe future recruitment. Yeah. Um, but you, you definitely, and you also notice cleanliness. I think I do and how things are faced. Yeah. Um, you know, Just little details. Jammed. I know something right. that I always hear you say is the hangers are so jammed. I couldn't even move I mean, uh, product through. It's a big company. And other places. Yeah. Like if you can't pull something out of the rack, then. <clears throat> and then put it back on too, right? Yeah. Which is yep. an absolute For nightmare sure. to do that. For sure. But, um, I mean, other things that, you know, we've learned is that uh, owning a small business, you can let it consume you at your home life mm-hmm. too. Like it can be 24 yeah, seven. And be. Um, our kids remind us sometimes, can we not talk about the business tonight? <laughs> so, I mean, that's something drawing, just having a balance, you know, is hard to when you're um, have a small business with family is having that big balance mm-hmm. that um, has been hard sometimes because um, you think that you can, as an owner, that you need to do it all because you're the only one that can do it right. Mm-hmm. So it's delegation and maybe accepting that that's not the way you would do it, but it's still okay. Yeah. You know. So. Are the kids involved in the business? A little Other bit. Other than being models? Yeah. <laughs> A little bit. The girls have helped us out. Um, I told them both that they would be working. Small they will be here. Yes. During that week. Saturday yeah. and Black yeah. Friday. Yeah. So, um, I, I don't, neither of them has shown like super interest, like yeah. they want to take over the business someday, but... I really kind of thought they would take more interest than they are, mm-hmm. um, but they're busy with their yeah. high school and college sure. world. Yeah. Um, which I get that. Um, Maybe. But they're both very good at yeah. being here and, and mm-hmm. doing what needs to be done, which is yeah. kind of fun to watch yeah. when they are here. For sure. We had one here yeah. yesterday. Yeah, for sure. You're probably waiting for that moment where in like maybe four or five years down the line, they're like, you know what? Like you might catch them saying, you know, my parents have this store, yeah. right? Like, mm-hmm. You know, next to the, the teenagers, right? Well, at college yeah. age, some of them like don't want to show that their parents are cool and yeah. they're in yeah, the store, exactly. right? But <laughs> it's, uh, it's fascinating and, it, and, and it's kind of special to have them at that age though, where they can, they are involved, they can come to work and, and get to see and, and also your customers want to meet them, right? Yeah. They right. want to talk to them yeah. and, and, you know, they have a relationship with you guys, but sure. this relationship and this store is going to grow and be around mm-hmm. for a while. So they want to see their kids come up. Right. That just helps yeah, build the relationship. Because sure. we do, we, we do talk about each other's kids and they're like, oh, there's Addie, you know, yeah. let's hear her talk about the other day. So it was kind yeah. of fun. Yeah. Hopefully they see a work ethic too. Yeah, that is, for sure. You know, it just doesn't come mm. free uh, and it, it requires an investment and perseverance and grit. And hopefully they're learning that. Yeah, um, I mean, for sure, because I feel like that's another societal problem is nobody wants to work. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Doing anything. Uh, any basically. any form of yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, we, you know, we want our kids to work hard. Yeah. You know, so we want them to see us work hard and know what that take, what it takes. Yeah. And showing them by example is super powerful, right? Mm -hmm. Rather than just saying this person, look, they have two jobs and they have all this, like when you get to see it from you and then also you get to still be a mom and a dad Mm -hmm. too, they get to see it from everything. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Finishing up then, do we have anything that you guys are super excited for, not just the holidays coming up, but you know, is the future to have another store or do something else? You know, you're, you're like I said, you're very business minded and you, you know, you're went to school for business and Tracy, you want to just care and, and mm-hmm. provide for people. Is there going to come a time where that cup is 
you know, not as full because you have, you need more footprint. You need to yeah. get out there and do more stuff. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How I, many more businesses do you want to run? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I yeah. still have an itch. Uh -huh. Of course. <laughs> he does. Um, but, you know, will we open another one of these? I don't know. Um, we, you know we really wanted to be in the class and curve. This is mm. when we thought about this concept, it was mm -hmm. to be here. And we actually waited a while for the space that we're in yeah. uh, because we thought this was perfect. And we still think that. So I don't know if there's, you know, would we open something in Tulsa or Norman or elsewhere? You know, yeah. that, that just requires a commitment that would be probably tough while I'm working mm -hmm. full time. Um, so I don't know. We've, we've definitely talked through it yeah but i don't know that that would even be in our five-year point plan. i think we're we're still still I mean, building yeah. yeah still building i mean it's if that was it would be a way in the future for yeah. sure for us yeah when plus, kids are maybe out of yeah, the house yeah <laughs> plus we're getting you know it's like i'm gonna look towards retirement at this right. point <laughs> would you go the, the guys route would you go the guys clothing store Is that i don't idea? know um i I may do something entirely different. Um, real estate is always of interest to me. Um, but I don't know, that to be able to do the same. What, one thing that is sometimes when I'm here and Tracy's really working with somebody, I just it's awkward for me sometimes. Um, mm -hmm. Just you know, But half the time, the gals that are here are like, oh, your, part, your friend or your helper's here or yeah. whatever they call me. They, they think he's um, so cute, yeah. you know, because he works. Right. He comes every <laughs> Sunday. We work together on Sundays. They're like, yeah. we see your assistant back your assistant, there steaming. I'm steaming or doing something that's. <laughs> he's, he's just so cute. So, yeah. but he's always worried about making women feel uncomfortable, uh -huh. you know, with him being here. Sure. But, I, you know, that's very rare. You know, he loves to come out here and, you know, yeah. joke with our regulars yeah, and stuff fun, like that. Actually. So. That's yeah, just a natural really guy. Th I would feel the same way. It's mm -hmm. a guy thing, right? Yeah. You know, you're in a woman's clothing store, yeah. uh -huh. changing and getting everything, and, uh -huh. and, and, and they feel that this is a safe space. I want them to come. Right. Safe. Exactly. And then, yeah. you know, and it's kind of like that, you know, like the barbershop type salon environment, mm -hmm. right? You know, you want to have safe conversations, and the last yeah. thing you want is to have a conversation, and then five seconds later, a guy's going to walk out. <laughs> yeah. And you just hit everything. Yeah. Yes, sad about my for husband, sure. or my kids, or whatever. <laughs> he's you know? very aware and knows, you know, yeah. and I think he's, I mean, he's does an amazing job here so i do have fun here and i i'm you know kind of surprised by that when we started this women's yeah. clothing wow i i didn't think that was going to be my thing <laughs> but here we go here yeah. it's been just great yeah, yeah. it's been amazing it's been a lot of hard work yeah, more hard, hard work, work than what we thought it would be they always you know yeah. they always say you know small business it's way more than what you ever planned but you um, are it's been a little bit it. of everything You're, yeah you know For every sure. role is you um and it does definitely take a lot. And mm -hmm. to shop small, you know, you always heard that before I had a business. Right. Like, okay. But it means so much more, you know, and it's real. I mean, this is, we are here. We live in Oklahoma. We've grown our, you know, grown our kids mm -hmm. here. And it, now I get what that means. Every you know? customer matters. Really, uh -huh. it really does. Um, mm -hmm. So it, I, you know, people who haven't had a small business, probably it's still hard to connect that dot. But I think to connect a face you know, they see us mm -hmm. and we were here yesterday with our middle child and she was working and, you know, we were working with some customers and I mean, this is us, this is our family. Yeah. This is real. We're not just a front for right. some mega million, you know, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Corporation that's, that's reaping the profit. It's, you know, it's us. We're here grinding yeah. and, and we want to share that with people. And that's mm -hmm. kind of what's fun is, you know, we're not, um, we're not in it because we're just going to be filthy rich. Um, this is just how we want to spend our lives. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, at least now, um, so. Yeah. Well, and it's great to, to, to be at this stage of your lives and open a business because, you know, and obviously you still work full time and, and maybe the goal is for you to never work full time. Mm -hmm. But for both, you know, for Tracy, for you moving out of full time work and coming into this, like, yes, you make money at it, but it's truly a passion that you might go into retirement doing it. Right. You know, like it's yeah. for both of you. Right. Because sure. it's just, you know, and, and Carl, do you work back there as well? Like it's. It's a release. It sounds like I've yeah, really, for thirty minutes. Point. It sounds really like is. that yeah. you know. Yes, this is a small business and it's very stressful, but it's not the same kind of stress yeah. that we had in our previous jobs. Right, for job. sure. Yeah, very good point. Absolutely, it's it's way more fun. <laughs> I mean, you know. Yeah. Our Sometimes our dates fun, are yeah. here working. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And you know, if we can have fun where we are, then it's right. it's, it a, it's a good yeah. expenditure mm -hmm. of time and. Um, so I think it's a good point. I've never really thought of it that way, a, a release. So yeah. it is, it's an outlet. 
Um, and it's a healthy, well, maybe healthy. <laughs> <laughs> At least I get to hang out with Tracy. Exactly. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That's one thing that going into business with, with your wife, it's like, okay, this is going to work out yeah. really well or right. we uh-huh. might never see each other. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's working out. And we have our days where, sure. you know, Everyone it's, does. it's, yeah. doesn't work well, but um, for the most part, you know, we, we compliment each other for sure. He's very business minded, very numbers minded. And I'm, you know, just buying and all of that. And sometimes I have to reel him in. Sometimes he has to reel me in, you know, like, babe, it's just, that's really what it takes. You know, I mean, it's just this. And I'm like, you're right. It is. It's fine. (laughs) I think the funny thing is a good friend of mine, when we started this, she was in retail right out of college. And the one thing that she said to me, Nicole, if you're listening, Mm -hmm. uh, was slow and steady wins the race in retail. And she knows me well enough to know that I probably wouldn't be patient without those words. And so that has really emanated with me because there's days where it's like, oh my gosh, we're not going to make it. Mm-hmm. And then there's days like, wow, we're going to make it. Yeah. And it's kind of a roller coaster and it's just kind of, you know, just slow and steady. Yeah. You're not going to, you're not going to have the business of your dreams overnight. Um, and it's just one customer at a time and just right. really loving on that mm-hmm. person. And, yeah. you know, if they walk out the door and you feel good, then you probably did a good job. And that's kind of, you know, slow and steady. Um, that's kind of helped me actually getting through the harder days. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. yeah. Great advice. Great way to finish. Uh, so the entire week of Thanksgiving week, you guys can swing by um, 11 to 7? 11 to 6. 11 to yeah. 6. Most days. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then what's your social media and the website where people can go and see what they can come in and try on? So at Instagram, it's Cla- uh, Scout and Molly's Class and Curve, at Scout and Molly's Class and Curve. It's kind mm-hmm. of a long one. And then uh, Scout and Molly's OKC on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. Great. I'll put yeah. the links for that in the description. People go check that out. Uh, thank you so much for having me in the store. Thanks for opening up early so we can get this done. And also wish you guys happy holidays and uh, best of luck for the rest yeah. of this entire business life. It's yeah, exciting. And so now much. I know you guys. So yes. To come by and try and find some. I'll probably just buy a gift card. It's easy. There you go. We've got those too. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. Every guy's, cards, every guy's yeah. greatest ever We, lo- we love helping, especially me. Oh, yeah. You know. When the guys come in, Tracy's. Yeah. Because it's hard for us, man. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We have no idea. We have we no love, idea. I mean, I love it. It's so much fun. And then I love it when I know that they we've picked a winner, mm-hmm. you know, and they're excited about it. So it's fun. Yeah. Thanks for coming in, man. We yeah, had fun. Appreciate it. Awesome. A lot of fun. <laughs> for everyone listening, I'll post the links to the description uh, for, the, for the Instagram and the website and the address as well. And we will see you next episode. Cheers. Hope you guys enjoyed that great episode. Thank you so much for listening. As always, huge shout out to our sponsors, the Oklahoma Hall of Fame, sharing an Oklahoma story through its people since 1927. For more information on the Oklahoma Hall of Fame, go to www.oklahomahof.com and follow them on Instagram for daily updates at Oklahoma HOF. Our other sponsor, the Chickasaw Nation, amazing sponsor they do amazing things for the state and they're always sponsoring something in oklahoma they're a huge supporter of oklahoma and without their support we wouldn't be able to do what we do and finally our third sponsor for today the oklahoma 988 mental health lifeline 988 is the direct three-digit lifeline that connects you with the trained behavioral health professionals that can get all oklahomans the help that they need learn more by visiting 988oklahoma.com It's 988oklahoma.com. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. We are inspired by those around us and hope that you are too. Make sure you subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast platform and leave us a review so we can keep telling your stories. For more great Oklahoma content, follow This Is Oklahoma on Facebook and Instagram.